Maxwell has now been arrested, but then, of course, Jeffrey Epstein was arrested, too. So how confident can the rest of us be that Maxwell will reveal what actually happened on Pedo Island and other places? Who was involved? Who paid for it? Were there foreign governments? How confident can we be that she will make it to a courtroom? Ed Gavin is a retired deputy warden for the New York City Department of Correction, the man to answer that question. He joins us now. Ed, thanks so much for coming on. Are you concerned that Maxwell won't make it to court? I think uh, there are some issues that we have to contend with. When you think about what happened to Jeffrey Epstein, he uh, supposedly committed suicide in prison? Uh, I don't think so. Uh, Dr. Michael Bodden, a renowned pathologist, examined Jeffrey Epstein, and he determined that the hyo hyoid bone was fractured. And that's more consistent with um, homicide by strangulation instead of suicide by hanging. And, of course, the cameras conveniently weren't working there. I don't think the feds can uh, handle these prisoners, um, uh, such high-profile prisoners like Maxwell or Epstein. If I were William Barr, what I would do is I would seek to obtain a substitute jail order, and I would try to have uh, Miss Maxwell placed on Rikers Island with the New York City Department of Correction. I mean, the jails are empty right now because de Blasio has police reform and Cuomo right. has bail reform, so everybody's out in the street. So there's plenty of room at the inn on Rikers. And then we have a, an emergency services unit that could handle her. And I, I think that's the best thing that could happen. And the reason I say that is because the jail that she's currently in, the Metropolitan Detention Center in Brooklyn, is notorious for the sexual abuse of female inmates. And let me give you a couple of examples. Uh, in 2011, there was a female correction officer there. She had sex on duty with eight, uh, eight employees. Two of them were superior officers. She also had sex with two inmates. One was a, a gangbanger and a drug dealer, and the other one killed two and New York City police detectives. And finally, we have a lieutenant and two correction officers recently who were convicted of, um, you know, sexually abusing over, over 10 women. The lieutenant was um, um, in charge of the unit, and he was, um, one of his functions was to teach the officers about PREA, which is the Prison Rape Elimination Act. Can you imagine the guy that's supposed to be training officers how to prevent rape in prisons is actually raping the inmates? So it's I don't think that that facility is capable of handling it. The